I mean, it's an honor, first of all. Uh, it kind of proves to you all the work that you put in over the years when you were here and what you did for this school and what this school has done for me, uh, both in this community. Uh, I graduated from this school, my wife graduated, both my kids have graduated from this school and I'm, I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm proud of what this university has provided for me and my family. Uh, and I've got grandkids now that I hope come to this university and graduate also. Uh, it wasn't just the playing of ball and the honor. I mean, you look up on that wall and you look at the Southland Conference champions, yeah, I've got, I was in two of them. I should have been in four of them. I, I was taught if you scored one more than the team you played, you won. You know, so yeah, you played offense, but you played defense a lot harder. I mean, we were, we were coached that if you score 15, the guy you guarding better score 14. So uh, rebounding was more of a mindset. And the kids that I played with, the kids, the guys, uh, you knew who got the ball, they're going to shoot it. And it was more of a, uh, a calculation on, okay, they're going to shoot it. You know they're going to shoot short, so you go get the rebound short. You know, you don't go long. You, 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 you understood who you were playing with, uh, and I think that was how it gave me the ability to win the, uh, the rebounding all the time, was I understood my players as well as I understood my opponent. Uh, because I knew if a, uh, Edmund Lawrence got the ball, guess what? He's going to turn around and shoot it, and he's going to shoot short. And then he had a brother that's going to turn around and shoot it, but he's going to shoot it long. So I told me where to go to get because I knew I wasn't going to get the ball back. He wasn't going to pass it to me. <laughs> so uh, we had a little kid, my roommate, David Ellis. My God, if David got it anywhere in the corner, guess what? It's going up, you know. And you just learn that with players that you play with. And I hope the kids understand that today. You knew we played team ball. Uh, you know, we won as a team, we lost as a team. It wasn't about individual stats. Uh, it was all about, you know, at the end of the day, what did we accomplish? Uh, and it wasn't just on the court, it was off the court. And I'm glad to see that today with some of these kids getting out in the community. Uh, we spent a lot of time trying to build relationships out in the communities. Uh, Robert Parrish, most probably. Because uh, I played against Robert in high school, played against Robert in college, and I played against Robert in the pros. Uh, he was fundamentally, most probably, the toughest. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar I played against and it's like I tell people that when I played against him, he was averaging 35, I held him to 34, <laughs> okay? But that was only in three quarters, <laughs> okay? Work, right? I, I made it work, but he only played three quarters. They beat us by 20, so I mean, you know, I, he, I didn't let him get 35 on me. He only got 34, but it was in three quarters, so. I hope that's what everybody comes for, uh, and it's not about me. I mean, y'all honored Joe the other day. I was here when Joe was recruited. I was here when Joe played. Uh, Joe was, you heard him talk about it. You, he wasn't talking about his playing days. He was saying, I want you to remember me as, and that's what you just heard me say. I, I'm thankful to this university for what it gave me. You know, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't expect anything. Uh, I expected to get an education and to be taught how to play basketball better. And through that, it opened doors for me.